Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. Now guys, we will talk about the file uploads in PHP. Guys, I will divide this tutorial in two parts. In the first part, we will just uh, upload the file. And in the second part, we will apply some constraint on the file upload. Means constraints like the maximum upload size means the file size should, should not be more than 1 MB. The file should be a PNG, JPG or uh, GIF type. It should not any other file. So, in the first part, I will show you that how can you upload the file. So, means we will not apply any constraint in this tutorial. So, firstly guys, I will create the form element, form, action. I want to write the code on the same page, so I will leave it blank or you can write the name of the page. Dex.php or you can leave it blank if you want. Means it will redirect to the same page. And second, we will write the method. I will use the post method. And the third one, you will need to write one more thing, that is ink type, that is encryption type. And it is used with, uh, means if you want to go uh, go for the file upload, then you have to specify this ink type. And here you need to write multipart forward slash form hyphen data. Multipart form data. And you need to close it. And I'll close the form element as well. Now, guys, I will create a file upload firstly. So I'll use p tags and I'll write input type of file. And I will give it name of my file. You can give any name. Because, guys, you know that uh, with in PHP, the data is access means the form element is accessed. Uh, access with the help of name element. So now I'll use one more P element and I will write input type of submit and I will give it value of upload and I'll give it name of submit. Now guys I will go to browser and refresh it. You can see the first one is input type of file which we have created and second is this upload button this which is a submit button guys and you need to one more uh, you need to do one more thing you need to create a folder where you want to upload the files you can see I have created a folder uploads so you need to create a folder you can give it any name so whenever we will upload the file it will store all the files inside this upload folder uploads folder so now guys we will write our code so I will write the code on the same page so I'll write at the top so firstly I will use the is set function because if I will not use the is set function then it will return a warning that undefined attacks. So I will use is set function. If is set I will show you that what will happen if you will not use the is set function. Guys for files you need to use dollar underscore files but if you will work other PHP you will use post or get the TVI using get method but if you are working with files then you need to use files dollar underscore files and here you need to write the name of the element so it's my file and I will echo it so if I'll refresh my page you will see that it will return an error undefined index my file because we are not using is set function so we will use the is set function firstly if is set dollar underscore post because we are using the post method then brackets now we will check the whether the submit button is pressed or not so I will use this submit button in single quotes submit if is set means if the submit button is pressed so firstly I will check the whether, whether it's pressed or not so so I'll write clicked refresh you can see clicked now we will write our code here so firstly what we will do we will write dollar uh, we will create a variable so I will write F oh sorry firstly I will print it on the screen echo dollar underscore file sorry dollar underscore files and then name of the file which is my files then if we will echo it then let's see what happens so firstly we need to upload the file you can upload any file click on upload you can see array because this is an array it is not 
it will not return just the name of the file there it is an array so we will need to use the printr function for this it then it will return all the properties of this file element so refresh it again we will upload the files so upload now you can see the array all the elements of array the first one is name which is the name of the file Sto story header dot png then it's showing the type it's a png image which is of png extension now it is showing the temp name c vamp temp php 55d o d0 dot tmb okay this is the temporary location means when you will upload the file firstly it will store the file in a temporary location on the server before it will it uh, it move to the actual location means before moving to the actual location firstly php will store this file in a temporary location on the server so uh, so this is temporary name and second uh, other one is error means if there is any error or not so it is showing zero then size it is showing the size in bytes so this file size is in bytes so now guys we will remove this and we will use these properties so firstly i will create the first variable and give it a name file name so i'll write dollar underscore files and first element will be my file and second will be name you can check it from here now i will create one more variable i will use it for the temporary location ftmp dollar underscore files my file then temporary name now after that you need one more thing guys we can also use uh, the the size error and type but we will use in the next tutorial when we will apply the constraint apply the constraints on the file upload system system means uh, means we will apply some constraints like nobody will be able to upload size uh, uh, whose file size is more than 1 MB nobody will be upload able to upload file size uh, f uh, sorry file type uh, other than image files so now we will write one more thing that is the store where we want to store this file so I'll give it a name of store and here we need to specify the name of the folder where it will be stored so it's the uploads folder so I'll write uploads then forward slash guys you need to do one thing here you need to use the concatenation operator and you need also need to write the F name you can use it here or you can use it later when we'll up, uh, use the function to upload the files now guys I will tell you that what it will do so first thing is the file name and second is temporary location and third is store so it will store the file in the uploads folder but we have to concatenate the F name also because it will tell that which file we need to shift to the F uh, means with which file we need to move to the uploads folder so we need to use the concatenation operator then the F name now guys we will use the actual function which will upload the file to the destination so the function name is move underscore upload it underscore file and then brackets guys it will take two parameters so first first parameter will be this temporary location so what it will do it will take this file from the temporary location where it is temporarily stored then it will move this file it to actual location where we want to save it means where we want to upload it then we will write comma and then store or you can uh, use this here after there or you can use it here means file name so we will go to browser refresh it now we will upload the file so I'll click on upload now we will go to the uploads folder and let's see now you can see the file is there so we will use the if condition there to check whether the file is uploaded or not so if means if the file is uploaded echo
upload it. Now we will again go to browser and we will upload any file you will see it will show the message uploaded but guys there is a problem in the coding you can see if we will upload the same uh, means other image with same name then it will override that image so in the next video I will show you that how can you solve this problem means the file will not be overwritten means uh, suppose right now if I'll upload this any file name with means any file with same name then it will overwrite the existing file so in the next video we'll apply some constraints like size file type the file should not be overwritten so we will I will show you that how can you do you do this and we will do this in the next tutorial so guys if you still have any question about this you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial